In this video, we're going to cover exactly when you should be using the group feature and when you should be attaching your design. My name is Kelly, and let's get clacking. As always, we start in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to be bringing in an image from Design Access. I want to make something that's got to do with stars or moons and things like that. So I'm going to search for a few different elements and I'm going to bring them all in together. So what I want to do now is I want to arrange my design so that the moon is pretty much the biggest in the design and that the little stars, there are many of them, maybe even take that one out and have a few more of these stars. So I'm going to duplicate them and I'm going to resize some of them. So now we have a design of our own. So what I want to do here is I want to cut the moon out of one color and I want to cut the stars out of a different color. So the moon is going to be, let's make it gray. And I'm just going to take that away and I'm going to select all of the stars and I'm going to make those yellow. Now, if we wanted to make sure that this design stays exactly the same as it is now, we would select everything we can right click and click group. This means that when we click on one element, we're able to drag that design all around the screen wherever we want it. We can then start adding in other elements. So if we wanted to add in a dog howling, for example, we can add that element in without having to worry about any of those elements being affected. If you want to keep all of the elements in a particular order or in a particular way on design space, you don't necessarily need them to cut in that way. Then you would use the group function. So as an example, if I had to, let's ungroup this and let's take the moon out and let's group up the stars. Because they are stars and they don't need to be placed in a specific location, we don't need these stars to cut exactly like this. If we wanted to make sure that we were saving vinyl, then we can click on the Make It panel and you will notice that the stars are cutting, they're cutting in a more optimized fashion. But if we had to go back, so we click Cancel, if we had to click on these stars and we click Attach, now let's say these stars have a very specific placement and they're in this particular case, maybe you've echoed a particular constellation of stars and you want to make sure that the stars do not move around on the vinyl when they are cut, you would attach them. Because attaching an item means that it will stay in that exact location relative to everything else on the page and it will cut in that exact location. If we take these stars and we now click on the Make It panel, we will be able to see that these stars have stayed in exactly the same location as what they are in Design Space. But this won't happen if we just group them. So using the group function is a fantastic way of having your design layout set up. So we know that that is what we want the end result to look like. But because nothing here is now attached, then if we click on the Make It panel, it'll optimize everything according to the colors that you have of those items. So we'll have the gray for the moon, the yellow, which is now optimized for the stars. You can, of course, still move it around if you feel like the setup is not 100% optimal for you, which it generally isn't. Um, so you can adjust it a little bit there as well and save some more vinyl. Because when you're cutting these, you don't necessarily need them to be in a specific location, like I mentioned. You just need them to be cut so that you can stick them down wherever you want to on the, the medium that you're going to be using. And then of course we'll have the wolf in black. Another thing that you would have to remember with grouping and attaching is that if I take all of these items and I group them together, they will of course retain their colors. However, if you have to attach all of these elements, you will see that they no longer have their own individual colors, but they are now all gray. That's because when you are attaching something, what you're doing is you're saying to your Cricut device, this is all going to be cut on one mat I need everything to be exactly in this exact location. When I weed this design off this mat, everything must be in this exact specific location. So essentially what attaching does, it's almost as if it places a little GPS location on each and every little item and it needs to stay in that exact spot. With grouping, what it'll do is it'll automatically optimize everything. So in this case, we definitely want this to all be out of the same color. So we're going to click make it. And as you'll notice, the design is now exactly the same on the make it panel and we can then send it to the maker. I hope that this tutorial was helpful and that you learned the difference between grouping and attaching in Cricut Design Space. Subscribe to my channel for more Cricut craft tutorials and I hope to see you in my next video. Remember, 
be kind to someone today. See you soon.